Hey guys, today we have a special day and I think that we should all celebrate it because you know why? Capybara is here. Oops, I mean this one. Finally released Caliburgan Capybara with the special block integral silencer on the barrel and it will be also in semi-automatic mode very soon so let's introduce this model so capybara comes in the wooden stock and this, this stock is made from four parts two parts are on the foregrip which are holds on two screws when you lose this screw you can move the foregrip towards and backwards yeah without problem third part is the main part of the stock and then there is a wooden cheek piece which is really practical this rifle is fit with a classic 22 mm beaver rail it has manual safety it's the only thing which is similar with the colibri but all other features the body and the whole mechanism is completely new and different uh, reloading is through the side lever which comes on the right hand side but it can be easily switched to the left side you just have to unscrew the lever and just exchange it from the other side yeah so it's suitable for both uh, right-handed and left-handed shooters as you can see the main feature is a block integral silencer which covers the whole barrel on the body it's really efficient, yeah, because this rifle comes in 40 joules and if we test it, we are indoor here, so there is more noise, but you can see that 40 joules with this noise, it's nothing, yeah. There is no any fruit on the end of barrel yet, but maybe the Calibre gun make or anyone else some special fruit or adapter for external silencer, so then it will be quite like a mouse, yeah. The air tank of the Capybara has 210 mm capacity of air, which is enough for 60 shots, I think, in 40 joules. New feature is also the red alert pin, which indicates that your rifle is cocked already. And also the new feature is that you cannot load two pellets inside, since it has anti-double feed mechanism. Yeah. If you cock the rifle and then you forget and cock it a uh, second time, the magazine will not rotate, so you will not charge two pellets into the barrel, which is great. But there is still one main thing which I didn't say yet, and it's the semi-auto kit. Calibergan will produce this semi-automatic kit soon, so if you buy this rifle and then buy the kit, you can easily change it for semi-auto and that was the main thing about this rifle I think what we are looking for yeah so we will just have to cock this rifle once then just pull the trigger the manual safety is on the right hand side on the rifle and it's really easy to reach from the bottom side you can find a silver screw which serves to empty the air tank but keep in mind that you just have to turn it a half turn, slowly empty the barrel and then when it's completely empty, unscrew the screw outside and you have to fix the o-ring which is on it. Yeah, if you don't unscrew it outside and fix the o-ring and you just tighten it, you will broke the o-ring. So keep it in mind, just half turn to empty the air tank then you have to unscrew it completely uh, fit the o-ring back to its place and then you can tighten it up and fill the rifle if you want to insert magazine inside you have to push this lever back and then just press this silver button inside so the lever will stay in the rear position and you can safely insert the magazine when we are talking about reloading we can introduce a new magazine 
it has no spring inside, you can rotate it in any direction, you can load pellets in any position. Yeah, so there is no spring, which means no problem with the magazines. It's from metal, it's really solid, I think. Since there is no spring inside the magazine, you have to cock the rifle with higher power or fastly to reload and rotate the magazine, but it works really fine. I have shoot just 10 mags for now, but there was no issues. When you put magazine inside the rifle, you have to keep in mind one thing, because there is a safety ball on the bottom side. The magazine has to be pulled totally. You have to hurt this massive click. Yeah, that's a wrong example, how you can see. Because it's just click just once. But you, you have to rotate it a little bit and push it completely. If you don't push it completely, you can return the cocking lever, but it will not shoot. When you want to insert the magazine, you have to push the lever back and then just push the button inside, which will block the lever. So you can easily and safely put the magazine inside, then just push it back a little bit and move it forward. Now it's ready to shoot. Rifle comes with two magazines, one FAC spring, some spare O-rings and classic caliber gun feeling broke. Yeah, we freed. So I think that all important things have been said already. Yeah, this was just a short video about the basic stats and features of the Capybara. Just know that if you buy Capybara and you will have some problems with reloading, you have to push the cocking lever really fast to the rear position and back to make sure that the gun will be cocked. The total length of this rifle is 75 centimeters, weight is 3.3 kilograms and the working pressure is 300 bars to 110 bars. Yeah, so from these levels you have, like I said, about 60 shots per one fill. I hope that I will make a shooting video with Capybara very soon, so subscribe if you are interested and thanks for watching. Cheers!